Yes, viewers, we continue with the, the, the chicken. Remember last time we had a chicken or how to prepare a chicken that will go to the in-laws. I promised that there will be a video of how to prepare a chicken for the husband. And this is the video, this is the teaching on how to prepare a chicken for the husband. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Down there, there is a word subscribe. Just hit that subscription. You subscribe. You'll be able to watch all the teachings, all Mbosas, all Mafundes, all marriage counseling, which are on this channel. It's marriage counseling, Mbosa, and Mafunde. Please subscribe. Make sure that you motivate me by subscribing. This is the chicken. This is the chicken. This one has the, the, the thighs up. The drumsticks are up. And the wings. The wings are loose. There's a meaning to this. So, Mwamakashi, as a wife, you can tebeta your husband. Or maybe your husband had gone away, probably for work, for school. Some husbands go, even for a year, two years. He's, he's overseas. If it is from the, the local universities, local, local colleges, maybe six months, sometimes one year, he comes back. And then you want to prepare, you want to receive him. This is how the chicken for the husband is prepared. The other, or when you are preparing a chicken for the in-laws, you have to cross the thighs, the drumsticks. You cross them here, you, you close here. But with this one, it is open. With this one, the thighs are, are, are up, are open. With this one, the wings are loose. The other one, the, the wings were pinned here. The wings were pinned like this. And we interpreted it. I interpreted it to you. So, what is the interpretation of this, of this chicken? It means, now, you are ready for your husband. You are ready for your husband. You are prepared to hold him, to embrace him, because he is your husband. You are prepared to bath him. You are prepared for him because he had gone away for a long time. Now he has come back. Not only that he has, he has been away for, 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 for quite some time, but even when we are together, Meaning, this means that he, he, you are ready, you are always ready for him. You are ready because he's your husband. There's nothing like you want to close up. Once you prepare the chicken for your husband, you close here. It means you are saying, me, I'm not your, I'm not your wife. I'm not your wife. It means maybe your marriage is on rocks. Sometimes, okay, you can prepare a chicken. You close, you close here. You cross the, the legs or the thighs here. It means maybe you are not okay. You are not feeling well. Or maybe you are, you, you, you are attending. You are on your, your monthly period. Your husband would interpret it like that. But... He may ask you, 
Why have you, if he has, if he has gone through these teachings, he may ask you, why have you done this? Then you can explain. Because it is part of, part of communication. So, as a counselor, I would like to, at least as a wife, mwatebe takwa vena mwenu, mwadabu isha kofie, it also helps, spices up your, your marriage. So, here, in the last video, I explained that I'll come and interpret. I'll come and interpret. No wonder this, this channel is for people who are 15 years and above, not for the kids. It has been blocked for the kids. So, here, it means the female part. Move it wakwana mayoyo. We move it wakwana mayo. And then we heard about the neck. In the other video, no wonder I always say for you to appreciate, to connect and understand, watch all the videos. Remember that, that video which me which says the meaning of the neck of the chicken. This is the neck of the chicken. We interpreted the neck of the chicken. And then this neck of the chicken will enter here. Neck of the chicken will enter here. And we said, this is the manhood of, this is a manhood, part of a man. And this is a part of a manhood. The manhood. Which will not be given to any other person apart from you. Your husband, which is not be, should not be given to any other person apart from your wife. This is the manhood. This is the womanhood. This is the meaning. So this is the chicken. All in all. So, in feathering. So as a husband, when you when you you receive this, you've been honored. Once you find the chicken like this, it is the respect that your wife is giving unto you. Before you, 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 you do anything, just like the other video about how to prepare the chicken for the, for the, for the in-laws, you have to come here. You come here. What are you, what will you find? Oh, it is a gizzard. It is a gizzard. We are yet to touch the gizzard. I think in the, in the next video we'll touch it. The gizzard. It means this chicken has been prepared for you. And this is the first thing that you should start by, by eating. You can eat. If you, if you eat everything and leave this thing, leave this thing without uh, uneaten, it will mean you have not eaten the chicken. You have rejected the chicken. Or, those who have, who have passed through uh, counselors, who know are tabafundwa. This person hasn't gone through the hands of the counselors. So, maybe if you missed this when you were being counseled, when you were entering the marriage, make sure that when you are given this, as a man, as a man, get inondo, the gizzard, you eat it. You eat it. You can eat the, this chicken when a chicken is prepared like this. It is everything is everything is yours. You can eat it, and your wife you will be one, once you eat the gizzard, you eat the neck. You leave it like that. Your wife will just collect and put it as a chupo in the bedroom. Next to me, you will find it the way you left it, and then. You get the part that you want. If you want, you can just finish it alone. Eat it alone. But, again, sometimes the... Abana wakuti baisa duduila. Abana baisa duduila. Ah, daddy mwere ya mweka. Bala mbuku ipisha. If you want to mwabatana, because ni en. Epad ya... Other wives who prepare two chickens. Even three chickens. One for the, for the husband. So that when the children find it, they will not ask because they have 
their own chicken. But in normal circumstances, that push and cook of worker, we don't finish the, the chicken alone, as if you are a restaurant. <laughs> so you tell your wife, oh my wife, I think I've eaten enough. Thank you very much for, for honoring me. Um na totila paku tebeta, paku man tebeta. So in your shala, put mwa kana kumwa yako na ba nami mwa yako. Elo wala isa ya numba e yinkoko. Otherwise, ngata mufuni shomfu. If you have not authorized that the, the rest of the, the parts of the chicken that you have, have left can be eaten by, by your, 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 your family, your wife will not release that. You will keep that chicken until you finish it. That is the rule. That is the rule. Now, there were some questions that were, um, that were advanced. When a chicken is prepared like this, It now kills, it kills the authority of the back of the chicken. It has, it has killed the authority which is there. Because all these parts have that authority. What is this authority am I talking about? Remember we said the back of the chicken is for the husband. So when, when you prepare the, like... like um, you, are, you, are, you are preparing a chicken for your in-laws. You cross, you cross the, the thighs. Sorry, it's, it's, they've become hard. You cross the thigh, that thighs like this. You cross them like this. Once you cross them like this, and you pin the wings, like in the other, in the other, in the other video, you pin like this. It will mean your in-law cannot enter you as a wife. It's only for your husband and you can't hold your in-law that is you have restrained yourself and you are restraining your in-law to hold you and you can't hold him meaning when this chicken goes to your father-in-law the authority which is here meaning it's the only the husband that should eat this it is that authority is removed your father-in-law can eat this because you have crossed here. You have, you have neutralized the authority which is here, which says only the husband should eat this. So your, your father-in-law will eat that chicken freely. When you just cross here, when you just cross here, to me now your father-in-law can eat this. Your father-in-law can eat the neck. Because you have neutralized the power, the authority, the teaching which is in the neck. Your father-in-law can eat, can eat the, the gizzard. Because by doing this, by doing this, you have neutralized the authority which is in the gizzard. I'm sure we are, we are, you are following. To those that asked, I, I promise that I will come and explain in the next video. On the chicken... That is prepared for the husband. It is like this. So, kuba afundwa. Aisa wa isa nomu nove. Wa isa nomu nove. Na ngwabena mwe wa isa nomu nove. Then you have prepared the chicken like this. Sometimes it can't be released. It can't be released. Pantu ya 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 kube na mwe. Nga padi kuba afundwa ala apa. Pange inko kuba tulete na batuteweta. But ever shall fund the you have a lot of total mumabumba. Hey, thank you very much, our sister in law. You've 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 prepared good food for us. So that's it about the chicken. This chicken, which is prepared for the husband, comes like this. It comes like this with loose wings. And we 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 said wings mean the arms of the wife. And these, the drumsticks, the thighs, the thighs of the wife. And now, when you are taking it to the to your to your husband, it should not be like this. No. It should be like this. It should not be like this. It should not should not be placed on the on either of the sides. No. No wonder when you are taking it, it should be in a plate. Where it should not fall on the, on either sides. It should not fall. Have you seen? To be, it will just stay like this. 
It is the chicken that is taken to the to the in-laws, like your father-in-law, which is put like this. And it's crossed here. It is crossed here, the wings are pinned, and then it will go like this. Have you seen? It will go like this. Because it is going to your father-in-law. Or your mother-in-law. It won't, it won't go like this. It is an insult. It is an insult. It is an insult. So, Bama yoku sorwezi bali pwisheko. Kuku sorwezi ndei bugisha bali pwisheko. So the video has come. It has been explained now to, to you. So, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe. Let us learn together. Let us move together. We want everyone to know about this. These are this is our tradition. Let other countries also learn about this. I'm appreciating people from Nigeria. They are asking. Oh, okay, so okay, okay, okay. That's it. In the next video, we'll tackle the communication skills or the communication that is in the in, in marriages, like about the beat, what the meaning of the beat. What do they interpret? What what do they mean? What, what what is the interpretation which is there? So make sure that you follow. Invite many people to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Watch the videos. Like like the the videos. I get motivated to upload more about marriage counseling, about Imbusa, about Amafundi. So thank you very much. All you followers, you motivate me. Thank you very much. Wherever you are. Those who are in other countries, those who are in, on the Copper Belt, I have many followers from the Copper Belt, many followers from Northern Province, uh, Luapura Province, many followers from Northwestern, Western, many followers from um, Central, Lusaka, Eastern. So please continue supporting me, continue watching. Many followers from Nigeria, many followers from uh, USA, from South Africa, from Tajikistan from uh, India, many followers from Somalia, Kenya, Uganda, um, Sierra, Leone. Sierra Leone, my sister from Sierra Leone, I greet you. So, thank you very much, shalom, shalom, and bye-bye.